back to my channel where we're all about leveling up, elevating, and living our best lives. And today's property is all about that. If you're watching this video, you probably watched last week, which was at Tagore Living. So today we're here at Bukoto Living, which is located in obviously Bukoto, but it's off of Kira Road, also known as Bukoto and Tinda Road. So it literally is prime location. You have all the perks of Ntinda, you have the perks of Bukoto, everything's very close. Um, wanted to also mention luxury living, you guys. This is it. Pool, rooftop, amenity. Like I can't, I, I'm just, I just lost for words. I'm trying to figure out how I'm getting all the coins to buy this unit. Anyways, I'm super, super excited. So enough talking, let's just get into this video. Let's go guys. ground floor um, the entrance to the units are uh, through the parking so each unit gets one parking space unless you have a penthouse suite then you get two spots um, and just behind me there's also the pool so we'll go check that out in one second um, it's a very nice size pool with a little mini bar you guys I love that I just feel like a hospitality needs everything. You don't just put the pool, you put the bar, you put like nice greenery, you have seats and such. I really love that they thought about that. We'll check out the other amenities later in this video, but I wanted to mention this one because it is on the ground floor. Hey guys, welcome to my crib. The first thing that we are greeted with when we enter is the security system. As you saw in the Tagore Living video, and like I'll say again, please go and watch it. Um, you can do your do not disturb, your uh, make up the room so they can come and clean. You can see who's calling you at the gate, ETC, ETC, great intercom section. Talk to the guards, you don't have to go all the way down because that's how I struggle every day. <laughs> anyway, as you come in, it's a lot of space in this foyer. I think this is the biggest foyer I've seen in an apartment thus far, which is pretty, pretty dope. Um, why I like it is because you can put all your shoes and their whole mess here and have a whole cabinetry space. This is just a bench, but there are very many cute benches where you can get organized and make sure you, yourself, your family, your friends, whomever is in this unit with you, it's clean, you know? We don't want clutter. <laughs> it's not luxurious. Anyway, as you continue through this apartment in the foyer area, you are greeted with the kitchen on your left hand side or my right. So let's go check that out. <laughs> Just like Tagore and Speak Wampewo, there's the same flow and coloredness going on in all these units. So you have the oven here that's in the wall, which like I said last time, I love, as well as the microwave. It just saves for space. You're not wasting countertop space or like underneath, whatever. You have a lot of space, as well as cabinetry, guys. There's so much cupboard space. You have the over-the-counter stove, just like a stove top, and underneath also space to store your um, dishes, your bowls, and all of that. So also not on your countertop. Um, can't get enough of how much space there is, guys. And what I love about this particular two-bedroom unit is there's a giant island. There's more space and there's so much more cupboard space below. Love it, love it, love it. So as we move over here, more countertop. Guys, I'm just thinking of cooking dreams, you know? I don't dream of cooking, but when I do cook, at least I know that I have space to do it. I can be super organized with my pantry space and everything below. And of course, well, for me, the infamous fridge that is seamlessly in the cabinetry space. I love to see it always. So you have your fridge up here and your freezer down below. And of course it's not um, they're not miniature. <laughs> you guys know I'm so over miniature sized appliances. I'm I'm from Canada, North America. Bigger the bigger the better. Anyway, also what I love about this two bedroom unit is that there is a maid's quarters as well. So let's go check that out right now. Let's go guys. All right, why well, I really love these maid's quarters and what I think is super important as well for security and whatnot is that there's a door here that locks and they have their own separate entrance. Whomever it is that will be in this unit with you to take care of you throughout your living stay. <laughs> there is so much storage space here on my right. That area is attached to the main house, obviously. So anything you need stored and like just good cabinetry and whatever, you can get it made for you and there's a lot of space for that. So just behind me here, there's the maid's bathroom, um, their own washroom, and then on the left, their own bedroom space as well. Just behind me is their own entrance door. And just behind you guys is the laundry area. So we have um, obviously your sink there, 
space for your machines, whether you have a washer and a dryer and whatnot, and an emergency exit unit as well. Now it's the fun stuff, the bedrooms and the living room and such. Let's go head back in and go check it out. So guys, you know how I'm all about space and this is a two bedroom unit with space. Tagore gave us space, but Koto is giving us more. <laughs> so just behind me, as you can see, there's a living room. There is enough space for a couch, multiple chairs. You can even put more chairs. You could do an L-shaped couch. I love those because it's always cozy in a little nook. Um, the living room, I'm very, very impressed. So obviously from the couch, you have your end console. And the dining area is a six table or six seater table. But as you can see, there's so much space. You can go to eight and maybe 10 if you're pushing it. If you're like me and you like to entertain, and I haven't entertained in my house yet because I, I need my house to be perfect before I have people all up in it. Um, but if you're like me and love to entertain, this is like the best space to do that. And of course, the beautiful natural lighting from the floor to ceiling windows. Let's go check that out right now. Ah, the air out here is so nice. <laughs> So this particular unit, obviously, like I mentioned, is a two bedroom, two or two bath, two bedroom, two bath. Then the maid's quarters as well would obviously have its own uh, addition. Um, so this one, because it's on the first floor, you do have the green space, as you can see behind me. So that green space is not available for all the units, but from the first floor to the eighth floor, there are all two bedrooms available. So the other ones would just have this balcony space. So let's get into pricing of this particular unit. So this unit is 170,000 USD, obviously negotiable depending on the terms, your deposit, etc, etc. And it's about 160 square meters. So all of that details, those are all very important to know, obviously, when you're going to make an investment purchase. And like I said in the last video, I love a balcony that leads into a master bedroom. So you can have your space to do you and look at hills and greenery and breathe. So let's go check out that master bedroom, guys. Guys, this is a really decent sized bedroom. Can't lie, for a two bedroom, I really like this. You guys know I'm about my beds, the big sizes, just space, so I do really, really like this. And I think for a starter unit, like a two bedroom, when it's like maybe a couple or one person or maybe a small family, like you just had your first kid, this is really good space. And then of course from there you will upgrade and this becomes an investment property. So really love how much space there is here. Um, and you can also add additional pieces. There's space that you can have for your television as well. So this is good. I can do this, y'all, I can do this. Um, it also comes with an ensuite bathroom. So let's go check that out now. Okay, so we're here in the ensuite bathroom. Um, it's very similar to the Tagore living. The only difference which I wanted to really mention and be in this bathroom is that there's a two sink situation going on, which if you live with someone, you will know it is like, people need to come and go, come and go. We're not there waiting for one person to use the sink. So I really love that, as well as a large shower, just like the last one. Um, a little bit smaller than the last one, but still a large shower, and then your standard toilet. Uh, what's left in this unit is the other bedroom and the bathroom that's shared with your living quarter or your living room area, and the second bedroom. So let's go check those both out. So we're here in front of the second bath bathroom and it's the same as Tagore Living. The colors are the same as well. So it's just your standard sink, your shower and your toilet. And there's a second bath bedroom here and I love how well lit it is. I think maybe because of the positioning of the bedroom, you have the floor to ceiling um, windows that brings a lot of the light to spill in. So it's actually a very cute and cozy bedroom, of course, with the usual closet space. So just wanted to quickly mention what's in the neighborhood. We are in Bukoto area and Tinda area. So it's super close to the bypass. I think that's huge because you can get to a lot of places. Say you work in Entebbe or wherever it may be. Um, you can get everywhere you need to go a lot faster than using the main roads or the little side roads. Same schools as last time and same as um, 
in terms of malls and prox not proximity, we're a little bit further, but things like Acacia Mall is very close. There's a hospital as well. Um, you're very close to Kampala uh, Parents School. And because you're right on the bypass, there's another school across called Acorn International School. Could be wrong, I'll get corrected. Um, just there um, and then you, also because you're by the bypass you can quickly go to Luboa if you want to do Galaxy or International or any of those schools and now that we're done talking about the neighborhood let's go check out this penthouse because you guys I can't even it's gorgeous let's go penthouse and guys this is my favorite part I know I say this in every apartment but then I always see like these gorgeous options I love to see Kampala bringing the five-star life <laughs> I love it I love it so anyway this particular unit is a five-bedroom penthouse there are three penthouses available in this entire building however only this five bedroom is remaining um, so as you walk in there is an on or a half bath then in this gorgeous, beautiful kitchen, as you can see behind me, there's a lot of space. And behind you guys is beautiful views of everything. Luzira, Ntinda, Bukoto, Bugolobi, Mbuya, like you can see absolutely everything because it's so big. There's so much living space here and um, dining space area as well so you can play around with so much. And an ample amount of natural light. I love to see floor to ceiling um, windows. I love to see people play with natural light. We have beautiful views in Uganda, so why would you want to be confined to some little window? I don't understand. <laughs> so you can literally walk out to the balcony, open the doors and just see all of Kampala is gorgeous. This unit is also two floors. So on this particular floor is the maid's quarters, which is behind me through there, where there's also laundry. Um, so of course, like the last unit, you have the bedroom and you have a bathroom for the maids. And then um, there's also two bedrooms down below. All the bedrooms are ensuite bedrooms and there's three bedrooms up top and of course the master which has gorgeous views of all of Kampala. So the exact same views you're seeing here in the living room. You have upstairs in the master bedroom, a gorgeous closet, very spacious you guys. You can fit vanities, extra space, like extra cabinetry space. They really worked with that um, area and if you work with it too, you can even put like a little um, Island in the middle because I love those jewelry islands where you can put a lot of different things that require drawers in your closet. And of course, the bathroom. A, a literally beautiful tub, guys. I love the option of having a tub and a shower. Why this or that when you can have both? <laughs> so I really loved how much space the bathroom is. Guys, if this is not a dream apartment, I don't know what is. But let's get into the pricing because I know you guys will want to know. So for this five bedroom penthouse double floor beautiful apartment, it is 362,000 USD and the square meters are 345 square meters. So that is something to consider. Um, we've seen so many penthouses or like more luxury apartments at that similar price so I would encourage you to go check out my other videos and you guys compare and see you know what works for you. Um, love the location and the neighborhood like I mentioned earlier. Um, you guys you just you can't beat this like maybe you could but right now I'm just like how am I gonna live here? I need to make the moolah to live in this place. I love it. The last thing I want to show you is the last bit of an amenity which is breathtaking so let's go head up upstairs to the rooftop. seen so much here at Bukoto Living from the wonderful pool down below with a little mini bar. We've seen an ample amount of security, touch screen right from the comfort of the foyer, two bedroom luxury penthouse 
perfection. And now we're at what I consider the best part. You guys know I'm obsessed with views. Now imagine I can get panoramic views of the entire Kampala. That's what's happening on this rooftop. This bar is available for residents here of Bukoto Living. So anyone living in this 27 units has access to up here. You guys can throw massive parties. Not only is it this rooftop area and in front, there's also a whole left side and a right side. Like you could have, someone can have a party there, someone could be over there and you probably wouldn't even hear each other. I love when I see buildings taking access or using their access of rooftops because it's so common abroad. Like people, places have run out of space. New York has run out of space. People have to build up and they've realized they can make so much more money building up and we have these beautiful, gorgeous views and no one ever takes advantage. So it, I'm just impressed by Bukoto living through and through. And there's also a very cool feature. Um, there's these little like mirrored floors, kind of like the CN Tower where you're standing on them. I, I don't know, I'm a little scared to do it, but I don't think you're gonna fall or anything like that, obviously. But it's just really cool to see that, like a little bit of artistry um, added in this. Anyway, I think this bar is where I'm gonna leave y'all. You guys know I love me a glass of wine and I want to enjoy one here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification button. Also, if you have any inquiries, you need any help, you wanna buy a unit, whatever it is, all the information is in the description box below. You can get in touch with them straight and uh, they'll be able to answer all of your questions. Like always, please remember to level up, elevate, live your best lives, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, love.